it goes up again, then it goes down, and at the end you go, well, put the price up, and then you get another bust of sales again. And that all counts in your rank. You might, your rank might vary. You might hit like number three, number five, then it goes down to number 15, number 20, then it goes back up to number one. And the most buzzworthy thing about this book was it's the dullest book I have ever read in my life, and I was lucky I actually finished it. tends to get you a burst of sales at the end. It's, it's kind of like a W. You get a burst of sales at the start, then it dips down, then you do another announcement post and it goes up again, then it goes down, and at the end you go, well, put the price up, and then you get another burst of sales again. And that all counts in your rank. You might, your rank might vary. You might hit like number three, number five, then it goes down to number 15, number 20, then it goes back up to number one. So that's why you have to keep an eye on it all the time. Um, it is an emotional roller coaster when you launch a book. Okay. Um, yes, I think that pretty much summarizes what you're doing. You're, you're basically, the message is don't just stick it on Amazon and think that that's going to sell it because it, it's not enough. You need to actively promote your book. You need to be creating some buzz, right? Um, not like Mr. Rosen's boring book. You need to get some buzz out there. Um, get it on all the social media platforms. I want to help you move from being overwhelmed and like the whole idea of publishing a book or, or and, and selling a book is going to be difficult and hard it's really not it's like anything else in life it's easy if you know how and i want to give you some how today um you maybe have a book right now and it's already published um a lot of these books have been us resurrecting a book that was somewhere in the amazon's rankings like number two million or something so if you know that your launch is going to be on friday then you want to build up to that launch and get anticipation going. Think about how movies are done, right? Think about how movies are launched. You, you, you hear the rumors, then you'll start to see the clips. Then you'll start to see the merchandise. Then you start to see the chat show interviews. Then there's the big reveal that there's a star in it that you didn't know was in it. Then the, the soundtrack comes out, right? And it just grows and grows and grows and grows. You want to emulate in this uh, cult of celebrity world that we live in, you want to emulate that stuff. So I would recommend you do a staggered launch. So it's like 10 days out, nine days out, eight days out, seven days out, three more sleeps. It's tomorrow. And you build it that on social media and email and text. So you're letting your, your sphere, your contacts know it's coming. One of the things we like to do is a sneak peek partial cover reveal. So we do this all the time. We build, launch pilot is my new thing, um, which isn't fully developed yet, but it's about to be. Um, where basically we're going to do a lot of this stuff for you. Uh, everything I teach in the Get Found Get Hard program, I'm basically teaching people how to do stuff and then expecting them to go away and do it themselves. Uh, that's not what's going to happen from now on. What's going to happen from now on is we're going to do it for the client. So today is all about launching books, um, promoting books, hopefully hitting the Amazon bestseller list. How does that work? Um, so that you can not only be a published author and all the credibility and authority that having a book brings, but a best-selling author is even better. We've done it 32 times uh, now in a row. Um, we had Choose to Climb by Geraldine, which is a personal development book. The method that I've done with 13 of my books and all of the 32 books we've done with clients is what's called independent publishing, which is known as indie for short, indie publishing. And that usually involves Amazon. Why Amazon? Because Amazon is the single biggest retailer on the planet for a lot of things, including books. Amazon started with books and that's what they're known for. Um, the minute you upload your document and it's approved by Amazon, you're published. So you're pretty much guaranteed to be published. You also automatically have international distribution. So you're in all the markets that Amazon is in straight away. It's pretty cool. Um, and you're going to get marketed and, and, and uh, they're going to share your information with their database, which is something that money can't buy. You're also going to get up to about 70% royalties on the cover of your book. So if your book is $10, you can get up to $7 royalty. A book has to move the needle. I read a book called The Anatomy of Buzz by somebody whose name ended in Rosen. I can't remember his first name. And the most buzzworthy thing about this book was it's the dullest book I have ever read in my life. And I was lucky I actually finished it. It was dreadful. 
It was dreadful. Sorry, Mr. Rosen, if you're watching. It was dreadful. Um, I unfortunately have this weird... Is that therapy need? I don't know. I have this weird OCD thing where I have to finish a book. I cannot not finish a book. If I start a book, I have to read the whole bloody book. And this was a nightmare. It was torment. It was just like, God, this is dull. Um, oh, I had such high hopes for it. I really did. Then I read another book, which is called Fascinate. And the book Fascinate was so good, I ended up doing, I think, six or seven live streams talking about it. Because it was the method that I've done with 13 of my books and all of the 32 books we've done with clients is what's called independent publishing, which is known as indie for short, indie publishing. And that usually involves Amazon. Why Amazon? Because Amazon is the single biggest retailer on the planet for a lot of things, including books. Amazon started with books and that's what they're known for. Um, the minute you upload your document and it's approved by Amazon, you're published. So you're pretty much guaranteed to be published. You also automatically have international distribution. So you're in all the markets that Amazon is in straight away. It's pretty cool. Um, and you're going to get marketing and, and, and uh, they're going to share your information with their database, which is something that money can't buy. You're also going to get up to about 70% royalties on the cover of your book. So if your book is $10, you can get up to $7 royalty. You said, you know, at the beginning, um, you said, you know, the reality is, is that you need to solve a problem. You know, yeah. it's like in any business, you know, whatever your business is, if you want people to come to you, then you've got to be solving a problem. You know, right. they've got a pain and you've got to solve the pain. Yeah. And yeah. I, I completely agree with that. Um, so with what I'm doing, I definitely... I think it could be done in a way that I can, I can, I can do that. Um, but I just need to look at it from that lens. That's, that's the right lens to look at it. And I hadn't, I hadn't really thought about that. <laughs> you know, and that's, that's, that's totally normal. And it's how everybody does it. Then you do another announcement post and it goes up again, then it goes down. And at the end you go, we'll put the price up and then you get another bus of sales again. And that all counts. And your rank, you might, your rank might vary. You might hit like number three, number five, then it goes down to number 15, number 20, then it goes back up to number one. So that's why you have to keep an eye on it all the time. Um, it is an emotional roller coaster when you launch a book. Okay. Um, yes. I think that pretty much summarizes what you're doing. You're, you're basically, the message is don't just stick it on Amazon and think that that's going to sell it because it, it's not enough. You need to actively promote your book. You need to be creating some buzz, right? Um, not like Mr. Rosen's boring book. You need to get some buzz out there. Um, get it on all the social media platforms. Now, here's a little trick of the trade. Should I, should I, tell, can I, should I tell you this? Yeah, I'm going to tell you this. Um, there's a website called Draft to Digital. Draft to, yeah. And yes. I realize I just need some... I, I yeah, you, we, we can build around everything you've already got so we're not like replacing all the work you've already done um yeah we can build around what you've already built and, and extend it because there's still a lot of other bits and bobs that you need but um no yeah if, it, it makes it easier if you if you bring the course that's already done it makes it so much easier for us to deploy it yeah but we can talk about that we can have a chat about that i'm gonna have to sure. be because i think my son's out of school and we um, need to pick him up now one of the ways to do that is to try and get all your sales happening at roughly the same time. It's a best seller rank. It's based on sale. So when you first upload your book to Amazon, you will see no rank at all, which means you haven't sold any. <laughs> the minute somebody buys one copy, all of a sudden your rank will appear and your book shoots into the, it's like a new new entry in the old music charts, straight into this week's number of 55. Boom, Willie Nickel with whatever. Um, and that's your initial rank. And as sales increase, your rank will increase or decrease, technically. So you're trying to get to number one. So what we would normally do is we try and compress all the sales into a short period, like three, ideally three days. So we like to do like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, when people are going to be able to go on their computer, on their phone, on their tablet and buy a book, right? So we time it that way. On There's a whole stream of new sites that are coming out where they're offering to write your book for you using AI. Um, I've bought most of them and used most of them. So far, I don't really rate them. 
Um, what tends to happen is chapter one is really good, and then each subsequent chapter gets more and more and more robotic and more and more and more abstract. Um, I don't think they've managed to 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 prevent that amnesia that AI often. I don't know if you've experienced that with ChatGPT. If you, if you if you do a long conversation with ChatGPT, it starts to lose the point. <laughs> it starts to lose the thread. Um, so I haven't seen one that does it very, very well. I think you still. I think if you still want a really high quality book, you kind of need to do it chapter at a time, um, and you can you can do that with prompts on chat or uh, number one right now. So these are all the books, and you can see the ranks are here. If you click on a book, you will see each book has a rank. I've got software that tells me the rank on that screen, which is why it's uh, showing you that. But any book you go into, if this would hurry up it will tell me the rank of the book and it'll be somewhere between one and whatever number there are of books on Amazon, <laughs> millions. And everybody wants to be in the top 100. Top 100 is technically bestseller. Everybody, of course, wants to be number one. Um, not always easy to do. Sometimes it is easy to do. If you scroll down to where the product details are, then you will see here's the rank here. So this is currently number 465 in the books, master category. But if you go down to self-esteem, it's currently number four. So it's doing very, very well. It's also doing num number 14 in motivational self-help, and it's number 20 in personal transformation. So this is a best-selling book in all At three categories. You are texting, emailing, carrier pigeon, cajoling, anybody and everybody that you know to buy your book. Go to networking events and say, hey, I've just launched my book. It would be really cool if you could help me get to number one on Amazon. Text all your relatives. Buy a bunch for yourself. Buy a dozen books for yourself anyway, because you need that anyway. Or every sale counts. So just cram it in, cram it in, cram it in. Um, you can do press releases. It's another thing you can do. You can also do um, Facebook ads. Uh, nice and cheap, highly targeted. You can do an ad for your book and drive your target audience straight to the Amazon page. Amazon like that because you're bringing them a customer from outside Amazon. Um. The other thing you might want to do is Amazon ads. Amazon have their own ads platform and it's inside the author database, uh, author dashboard. So you can actually do the same thing as Facebook does. You can create an ad on Amazon and that ad will show up when people are buying books. Give me 24 hours. And I came back with a 29 things you can do with a book after it's launched. Um, and I'll make sure you've got a copy of that in the Facebook group so you can grab it. Because this thing is a door opener. Well, that one's actually a door stop. But these things are door openers, right? This thing can be used. And actually, there's more money in the business you build around the book than there is in the book. If you, I mean, if you're if this is a, if this is a ten dollar book and you're making seven bucks from it, you're gonna have to sell a heck of a lot of books to make a significant income or to pay your mortgage or whatever else, right? So the money's in the back end. The money is in what you can do behind the scenes or the doors that you can use your book to open, right? So that question of, okay, now I've got it, um, what can I do with it, uh, is a good question. So there's 29 things you can do.